Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to discuss the printed PDF reports in Odoo 17. One of the key features of Odoo is the ability to generate beautifully formatted PDF reports. PDF reports are a vital component for firms to effectively communicate information. I have already created a manual travels management that handles the ticket details for each customer. To write a report for each ticket. To do that, go to Python and create a report, create a Python report directory within our module. And inside it, we need to create a report action for our report. For that, create a XML file. So we need to create a report action for the report. In order, a reporting is accomplished using a report action, specifically the IR action dot report, which triggers when generating a report in order. So let's create a record. And next, we can set the name field name. Then the field name is specifying the name of the report or action. So it is Travis Management Report. Next, we have the field model. The field model specify the model on which this report is based, which is Travis.Management. It indicates that uh, this report is associated with Travis.Management model. Next, we have report type. Uh, it is defined the type of the report, which is a QF PDF in this case. It indicates that the report will be generated PDF format using QWeb template engine. Next, set a report name. So the report name specifies the technical name of the report. It is uh, it is the identifier used to locate the actual report template file. So the report name should be our module name. Dot template ID. Next, set the report file field. The report file field specify the actual file path of the report template. It indicates uh, the location of the QWeb template file that will be used to generate the report. And next we have binding model ID. So the binding model ID defines the model to which uh, this action or report is bound. It refers to the model travels management, which is defined as well in the code. And next. We have the binding type, which is specified the type of binding of this action or report, which is a report. In this case, it indicates that this action or report is bound to a report. So we have created the action and after that we need to create a template for our report. To do that, create an XML file within the modules report directory. In order, QWeb templates are used for generating reports. So let me create a new template for the report. Make sure to set the ID of the template the same as the one specified in the action. In this case, it is report underscore travels underscore management. Next, let's decode web.html container and web.external layout. This should provide a default layout for our PDF report. After that, define the content section. For now, I'm adding just a heading. Now, if we go to auto, open a single record and click the setting icon, you can see that there's no option for printing. This is because we haven't included the report files in the modules manifest. So go to PyCharm and include the files in the manifest and run the program. Upgrade the module. Click this option and PDF will be downloaded. When you open it, you will see that the heading we added in the template. If you want to add your records data, you will need to insert into the template. Let me close this. Now, 
back to Python. Look to the docs. Stock contains the record ID and you can use this ID to include values. I'm going to print the customer's name. So within the T field, let me add doctor partner underscore id dot me now run the program need to upgrade the module then go to module print again it's generated pdf you will see that the customer's name has been added so in this way you can generate printed pdf reports and you can also generate reports from the tree view. So to do that, select the desired icon and click the print I printing icon over here. A PDF will be downloaded. Now, if you go to auto or settings and under technical, we have reports. You will find that a new report action which we created has been added. So that's about reporting in Odoo 17. Thank you for watching.